now we've got everything set up, what we're going to do now is we're just going to erase these numbers here and start. So we have an assignment that looks like this. So it says, on February 1st, the balance in your checking account was $137.48. So the balance was $137.48. Perfect. Move on to the next transaction. On February 3rd, you use your ATM card at Walmart for the newest Medal of Honor game. Your total is $75.76. So on February 3rd, so I'm going to go to the next line, and the date was February 3rd, and I used my ATM at Walmart. And I'm going to put game just so I don't forget what it was for. And I did take money out of my account, so that's a debit. And it was for the total of 75.76. So 75.76. Pause the video and do that transaction. Second one, on February 5th, you deposit your paycheck from Chick-fil-A. So on February 5th, I'm going to do a deposit. I'm not going to just do deposit. I'm going to put salary so I know that's what I got paid. Again, that's just so I know that that's the one when I got paid. And I'm going to call it paycheck. Or you can put Chick-fil-A, either one. Now I've got money, so I earned money. So I'm going to go with it's a deposit of 186.53. 186.53. Cool, I have money now. Let's do one more together. So pause the video, do, then we'll do another one. Again, it should look like this. Third one, on February 7th, you deposit $50 cash that your sweet little granny sent you for making straight A's this semester. So on February 7th, you deposit $50. So on February 7th, I deposit, and I'm gonna put from grandma, or from granny, and I got money, so I earned money, so I'm gonna put it on the deposit side, $50. Pause the video.